Hello everyone and welcome back to another beautiful freezing cold day at my Fixer Ever house. And yeah, so I'm gonna try to get to work and stay warm. But today I'm working on the porch boards. We got some more boards um, the day that we were working on this, but I didn't um, actually start to router them yet. So this is the floor coming along. Looks so beautiful. It looks kind of like a, it's so grainy. Like it's so, it's such interesting wood. And then there are other pieces like on top of it. So it looks extra funky, but yeah, it looks beautiful. It's gonna be amazing. But what we're doing is we got the lumber from my dad's and it's all been planed and dried. And now we're just working on, we're doing the rounding the corners so that, you know, it's less, it's just nicer. So that's what we're doing. But anyway, today I'm working on doing the routing edges for this new lumber so that when the time is right, we can put it down on the porch. So that is what's going on. And Jay is here helping me. So we're gonna get to work. I don't even wanna put my hair up because it's keeping me warm. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go this way and this way.
Amazing, that went really fast. Yeah, you were right. That made it go a lot faster. Yeah, I would have been. I was gonna do it by myself and then Jay offered to help. It went a lot faster. Okay, so lumber has been routered and ready to put down on the porch and it looks very nice. Very nice stuff. So I'll keep you updated as more goes on the porch. I'm not totally sure when that's going to be or whatever, but as always, you know, I'll let you know. So I wanted to show you because I never actually, when I painted the radiators and stuff that one day, they were still drying when I left. So I didn't show you kind of the finished product with the covers on and everything. So there are still a little bit of like touch-ups that I need to do and stuff here and there. But really, they look gorgeous, don't they? These two long, beautiful ones with the covers on, they look so nice. Which I knew that they would look beautiful, but they were just kind of drab. Even the ones that weren't horrible were still kind of drab, but just the white just spruces them up and they look so nice. And I'm loving the look with the covers on. Even if they need another coat here or there, they look so nice. This one here is one of my favorites because it's so long and skinny and it's dirty already, but that is the way of the construction zone. So I did get some more paint because these two ones upstairs, just as a reminder of what they used to look like, which aren't as nearly as crisp and beautiful. This one's especially horrifying as, um, the ones that are painted. But we ran out of paint last time and I did get some more paint and I'm hoping that this week we will be able to, I'll be able to paint at least, you know, a good coat on these two ones up here that haven't had any done to them. It's supposed to be warmer. Today is so cold. It's so awful to work when it's like 30 degrees and maybe I should be wearing more clothes, I'm sure. But, and you're not used to it. It's just, it's kind of miserable, but such is life. But the end of this week is supposed to be up in like the high 40s and even 50s, which is crazy, but really exciting. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to find some time. Life is so busy. I feel like I have, I have something like every single evening and whatever. So I'm hoping to come by some evening after work somehow, find the time to paint these sweet little radiators and yeah, I will keep you updated on that. Hopefully, maybe even in this very video, I will paint the radiators up here. But I did just want it to come in. I did just want it to. I wanted to just come in, or I did just want to come in. Either way, whatever. Um, and show you the radiators kind of put together because they are so beautiful. And I didn't give you, get a chance to show you them before in the last radiator transformation video. But if you missed that video, check it out. I'll put a card up to it. Cool stuff. And stay tuned for the transformation of the radiators upstairs. Hey guys, I am popping in at the house tonight because today is a warm day. It is a balmy like 50 degrees today. And so I wanted to paint those radiators. Is my car going to turn off? Yes. Um, I wanted to paint those radiators while it was warm, but I'm rushing to um, beat the dark darkness, beat the darkness. But the sunset is beautiful, although it was I should have stopped on the side of the road because now it's covered up by trees, but I'll show you anyway. It's very, very beautiful this evening. Like I said, it was a better view over as I was coming up the road, but you can also see, whoa, hello, a deer friend. Sorry, it's very pixely today probably because the lighting is not ideal. Anyway, I am going to probably need to use other lights anyway. I wanted to paint the couple radiators upstairs that didn't get painted because we ran out of spray paint. Okay, we have light. So the tops are already done of both of these, but I ran out of paint. So I'm gonna paint these and I'll probably do like another coat on two of them downstairs that I don't think I got a second coat and maybe do a little bit more on the tops. I'm actually hoping <laughs> that these, this one's a slightly different kind, so I'm hoping that the colors all match up. 
but if not, we can just do another little layer of, if we need to on the other one. So we'll see. And the floor here is just plywood that we're going to be putting other floor on, so I'm not worried about anything here. These ones up here are way worse shape than the ones downstairs. Well, these are going to probably need another coat after too, but at least it's a nice start. It's definitely an improvement. We've got a little bit of tight quarters here. Of course, a lot of the top will be covered by the top cover. Okay, one coat done. Like I said, it looks a little rough at the top, but that's where the cover hits it. And of course, it'll look better with another coat on it too, but at least I got one coat on. I'm happy about that. And we'll have to come back. Thankfully, the next couple of days are supposed to be a little bit warmer. So we should be able to get a couple more coats on or whatever we need. And all the radiators will be ready to be put in when the time is right. I believe that that time will honestly be after Sheetrock is on because really you want to have everything painted and everything behind the radiators. So I don't think it's going to be a while until we actually have real legitimate heat in the house. But of course, there are lots of other issues too. But <laughs> we're making progress one day at a time, one step at a time. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Little tidbits of random activity here at the house. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day.